Hello there. The SNP government deputy first minister John Swinney survived yesterday's vote of no confidence, but the result sends a weird message. Firstly, please subscribe and like this video to give my channel a boost. And I'm always uploading new content, so please do check back every day. And a big thanks to my Patreon and PayPal supporters. The no confidence motion put forward in Holyrood by the Tories was voted down by 65 votes to 57. Now, the five Green MSPs voted with the SNP, and had they not done so, Swinney would have lost by 62 votes to 60. And that sends a very confusing message out to the world about the Scottish Parliament. Remember that Swinney is also the Scottish Education Minister. Now, the Scottish Parliament has voted for two things. One is the release of the OECD Education Report that has been successfully buried by the SNP government until after the elections for easily deduced reasons. And two, the Scottish Parliament voted twice for the legal advice on the Salmon Judicial Review to be fully published. But only a redacted version was dripped out bit by bit by Swinney, some of it after Nicola Sturgeon had given evidence to the inquiry set up to investigate the Scottish Government's handling of an investigation into Salmond. So you would think that the Scottish Parliament would be a bit miffed and back a motion of no confidence in Swinney. But not a bit of it. They back him instead. So after voting on two matters to try and force the Deputy First Minister to comply, he does not do so, but Parliament is perfectly happy for him to ignore them. The Scottish Greens are nothing more than SNP mini-me's, and they're basically saying that parliamentary votes mean absolutely nothing to them. Not unless they're in support of the SNP and independence, of course. So what do you think about this? Please share and comment below. And if you want to hear more from me, please don't forget to subscribe and also press that little bell, or you won't get any notifications. And if you want to see more of me, buy a mug with my mug on it by following the link in the descriptions box below and support me on Patreon or PayPal. And thank you for listening.